Or video. We'll move back and forth between the two. You try to underhook them. If you feel you can underhook them, bridge them, get them out. Let's go. <laughs> you can put that leg there. You're gonna have to put the leg there. <laughs> Both sides, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Any questions on that? There's just nowhere for you to go. Were you able to do it? Were you able to get yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah? I was just struggling finding the opportunity. I think that's my problem. Okay. Show me. Just come down here on the video. So you'll see on the video. Show me. It's just went there. It's going to that pull went to swing. But look, it's, it's, the other thing with this is just to be aware of it, right? So we would, I was just doing this too. So when he's when he's here, if he doesn't put this foot, if I don't think this foot is in a convincing position, um, let's just shuffle down. Just say against the foot on the thing. If I don't think this foot is up near my ear, the, the first thing I'm going to test is the underhook the suit to me, and I feel it connects. And when I do it, I'm going up into his armpit and it's like I'm going to try an omoplata and put his hand to the put my hand to the max so he can't head off me but it's like an omoplata and it comes from the bridge but the, it doesn't go up 
Just like this skinny X on the mat, it doesn't go into his body, it doesn't, it's going up. Yeah, so if he's, he puts his weight on me, but this foot is back, right? He's in a good position, or a better position, because this leg to defend me getting up. So he can defend me getting up, because this, the leg allows this one to stay tight to the angle. So it's defending this line here. So I can't get up as easy. But put your weight on me as well. Yeah, so he has to put his weight on me. Because if he doesn't put his weight on me, I'm going to move away from him. So if I try to come up here, because this leg, I mean, I wouldn't try it, because the leg's back. Right? If I try and come up here, he's, he, he's got the angle. Because this this foot gives him the angle. But like, I wouldn't do this here. Don't put your hand on the mat. Please take, take his weight from me, right? So I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm pillowing, he's got his hand in, he's not serious about it. Every single time, I'm going to go up and slam this to the ground. If he brings the foot up high, every time I bring the foot up to counter the underhook, the bridge in the underhook, he's going to sit up. So I'm here, I bring the foot narrow. I could be checking this or whatever. It's still going to be, if I pull it, it makes it easier for him. People do this, they pull because they want to get flat. But it's a mistake because chin, foot, up. And I've got to surround him. And that's what I'm looking at, is where is his base? Yeah. But everything is about this skinny X. Yeah, yeah look, that. This uh, angle. That um, bridge escape then, when you yeah. know, it looks very much like this mountain escape. Yeah. Which is about knowing about that. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and it's important, like, this is the, this yeah. is the dead angle. That's why you put Gary into. Yes. It's the angle he has no base of support, which is what makes it work. Yeah. Let's get a roll. We'll just finish off. What, what time have we got on the video still playing? What time is it? Is there another time? Somebody's popping me on my phone there. You just tap my phone. Sweating through. Yeah, let's go. Let's get some rolls in.
It's that angle on the mouth. It's just that angle on the mouth. It doesn't feel like it's all pulled, you know what I mean? That's basically what you feel it for, right? Yeah. You know, is it there? People don't try flying either. Yeah, well, that, that's it, right? So if you drag it to go, then do it. It's still the same angle that yeah. gets me out. Yeah. It's going into it. Yeah, I, I've done it before, when you try and drag them all over, you do it, you don't do it. And it goes back to your base of support. Of, I have to pull into my base of support. Otherwise I'm pulling outside of my silhouette. Do you know what I mean? So if I pull you, if I pull you, if I pull you, I have to be back so that if you sit up, Right, now, I, now I'm giving you a different problem. But if you crunch your body up when I'm doing this, to load, my, load your underhook. So again, you, you, what you want to do is crunch into me. If I'm staying back. You see, I can't really, I can't really go, go chest to chest here. Because the moment that I go chest to chest, you bridge up into that. Yeah, but the arm goes up, yes. Not into me. Yeah. It goes up here. Just like the mount. I'm trying to push you in your ribs. Yeah, it's just the mount. So I don't want to be on that underhook. Because, but then, but then look, you can, what else can you do? You start framing in front. Right. And, it, and that's the subtlety, I think. Do you go in front? Are you really going in front or actually are you going to borrow again? Yeah. Because yeah. you know every time I try to go, you're going to dump me. But if you get that in front, now what's to stop you? I can't pull you anymore. Yeah. So you know that grip is useless. Yeah. That grip's only good to pull. I can't do anything with it extending wise. Yes. So you're holding on. Yeah. yeah. And you come off. Mm -hmm. So look, is it a real pull? If it's not a real pull, no, no problem. Because it's not real. Do you know what I mean? So, so now just bridge me up into this arm, up, up here. That hand wants to go. Yeah, but, yeah, but think, about, think about when you do this, I want you to think about the mount. Because what, what, where do you want to go? That way. 
Well, you, you, yeah, so you're trying to, what, what side are you trying to clear? Let me ask that another way. So if I'm, if I'm mounted, mount, put the hand in the collar, so look, which side am I going over on when I, when I do this? So I'm, so your hand is on this side. Of it, and I'm taking you over. So my, my point is, where have I got to create the space on that here? On the, on the. So, so put your, put your weight, yeah, so you put your weight on me, and I want to feel that. Like, I don't really want to go until you come chest to chest. So as you come chest to chest on me, what am I really trying to do? I'm trying to open this arm up as much as possible. So it's actually this. It's actually this. It's this ear comes to the mat. So as you as you put the weight on I'm here, it's actually this ear. The bottom ear. It's the bottom ear that does this. And it allows this arm, it creates the space for this arm to come through the gap rather than me pivot on it. So rather than me do this, and I'm going up, when that ear is touching the ground, I'm trying to go over the top of my here, yeah. and not go over my tricep. The more I can open out and go over the top, the better. So there's like those two points of support, of the, the base. So instead of that, I'm filling the space with my arm. I fill the space with my arm. And I think this is the same with his headlocks from the closed guard. He does with the chopsticks, but yeah, you got your head on. Grab my head, grab my head. But the, the basic idea is going to be to put this on the ground and to turn my ears. That's still going to be the basic idea of it. Do you see? Yeah. Because this arm has to clear and it has to get to the ground. So as I start doing this, I'm looking away. Hold it tight. I've got to look away. And like he does this, he breaks your base away. I can either lift you or I can chop. So it's this idea, though. It's this idea. Okay, now. Yeah, sorry. But it's this idea. Yeah. The legs are doing something different. You know, he's chopping and breaking the base and so on. But the basic idea is he wants this. Yeah. Yeah. Time, guys.